it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in and see what the cocoon only bin is doing. Now this is what I have been moving all of my over the um, one eighth screen. No, yeah, over one eighth. And as you can see, we're starting to get some hatching. and little worms. Let me see what my bait container is doing here. Well, I can definitely see there's some worms in here. And these will be all kinds of worms. These are cocoons from all of the different bins. So all of them. So it looks like we're getting we're getting some hatching here, and I had been baiting them out and took out anything that was of any size a while ago, and so I'll, I'll just take that out for right now. But I was just going to go through this a little bit and let you see what the hatchlings have been doing. So lots of cocoons still in there. If I hold still long enough, maybe you can see them. But, um, so I'll probably give them another, maybe a month, and then I'll bait them out again and uh, add them to the rest. But it's, it's a little wetter in here than it is in most of my bins. Um, but that's by design, because the, the coon, cocoons do, you know, require a little bit more moisture uh, in order to hatch. So, yeah, we're getting quite a few little tiny babies here. But I didn't want you to uh, not know what was going on. That's what I do, right? I keep you guys informed as to what is going on in the wormery. Okay. And in about a month's time, then I will go ahead and put another bait container in there and get the ones that are old enough to come out and be in the regular bins. All right, guys, just a quick update on the Cocoon Only bin. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, it ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.